What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. It is Monday, which means it is time for another episode of New Makeup Monday. If you're new here, this is a series on my channel where we sit down every single Monday and we go over all of the new products that have been announced, released, and sneak peeked over the past week. We're gonna go over them, we're gonna judge them, we're gonna discuss whether it's something we want, something we can pass on, or maybe it's something we already picked up. But either way, please keep in mind that this video is strictly just for fun. If you love something that I hate, that is okay. Beauty is absolutely not a one size fits all, which is what makes it so much fun and what I love about it. Also, all of the products that we discussed today, I will link and list as many of them as I possibly can. I will put as much information down in that description box that as I can come up with. And also, I wanted to let you know that some of those links may be affiliated links. So if you do choose to shop through them, I thank you so, so much for helping to support me and my channel. It means a lot to me. Also, I did film this look. It will be coming up later this week as a short on my YouTube channel and a reel over on Instagram, but I will also list everything that I am wearing down in the description box as well. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and scooch over and we're gonna discuss all the new releases. So before we jump into the new releases, I just wanted to give you all a quick reminder about the Sephora Spring Savings event that starts this Friday, April the 5th. Now, if you are new to the Sephora Spring Savings event, let me give you just a quick little rundown. So if you are a Rouge member, you will get 20% off starting on Friday, April the 5th. If you are a VIB member, you will get 15% starting on April the 9th. And if you're an insider, you will get 10% off starting on April the 9th. Everybody is eligible for 30% off of all of these Sephora collection items. Now, keep in mind that a lot of things will go out of stock during the sale, but Sephora tries really hard and they're usually pretty good about bringing stuff back in stock. So if you get on like the first day and it's out of stock, keep an eye on it because it might pop up and come in and out throughout the sale. But I just want to let y'all know that's coming up build those carts get them ready i have mine ready and i will do a video of like a sephora haul showing you everything that i picked up during the event Okay, so last week we talked about Charlotte Tilbury and she had a slew of new products that she was releasing. Some of them was just a shade expansion, other was new products, but those are currently available on her website. So we have the Pillow Talk Big Plump, Big Lip Plump Gasm. These are tongue twisters, y'all. The Pillow Talk Lipstick, the Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Secrets Collection the Pillow Talk Multi Glow Highlighter, and the Collagen Lip Bath. So I did pick up a couple of these items because I was curious, I wanted to check them out. I know I got the Pillow Talk Big Lip Plumpgasm. I think I got a couple of lip liners and I got one of the highlighters, but those will be linked and listed down below. If you're interested, check them out. Okay, so up next from CXC Beauty, we do have two eyeshadow palettes coming out. Now we did discuss these last week, but we just had a sneak peek, but now we have the full color story of both of these palettes, and these are absolutely gorgeous. So we have the beautiful Nightmare palette, which has our purples and our blues, a little bit of pink in it. And then we also have the Sweet Dreams palette, which is like pinks and yellows. Both of these are absolutely beautiful. I've talked about how I wanted to try this brand and I have found the palettes that I want to try. I will be picking up both of these. These do come out on Wednesday, April the 3rd. I'm assuming they're going to be $59 a piece. There haven't been any prices released, but just based off of what I saw on the website, all of their palettes that are these size are $59. So these will be linked and listed down below and there will be a video with both of these palettes coming very soon. All right, so we have a new collab from Spectrum. This one is with Powerpuff Girls. So they have come out with some brushes, some puffs, a makeup bag. It does look really cute, but we have um, three six-piece brush sets in Buttercup, Blossom, and Bubbles. They each are $48. We have a makeup bag for $34, a puff trio set for $18, or it looks, you can, looks like you can get the whole bundle of one of the characters for $75. These are available now on their website. Um, this is going to be a pass for me. 
For one, I am not a Powerpuff fan. Like I didn't grow up with it. I think it came out sometime when I was like in middle school. I remember having a teacher who had daughters that absolutely loved it and I miss that train. I have boys. It wasn't anything that we watched, anything I'm interested in. I would like to try the brand at some point because I've heard from several people that their brushes are good quality and everything they release is really cute. I'm just waiting on that perfect collection that I'm interested in. Okay, this is so exciting. I cannot wait for this one. This is the Spring Magic Collection from Unearthly Cosmetics. I know we've talked about this. We had like a little sneak peek. We saw arm swatches of half of the collection, but we have details and I'm ready. I'm excited. But this will actually go up for pre-order on April the 4th and it's set to ship out like the end of April. They don't have a specific date, but Unearthly is usually really good about updating you, especially if it's going to be moved out. But let me tell you what this collection entails. So there is an eyeshadow palette for $78, a blush palette for $32. We have two incandescent highlighters. We have Awaken and I'm Sprung, which will be $15 a piece. And then we also have the Ghoul Glaze Gloss Pollen for $14. Now you can purchase every single one of these items individually, or you can get the entire bundle for $138. And y'all, I'm excited. You know I'm going to be picking this up. I love Unearthly. I love my Fall Magic palette. And this color story is absolutely beautiful. I feel like it screams spring and I'm excited. We have a blush palette. I have been dying to try their blushes. And then of course we have a gloss, which their gloss formula is always really good as well. And we have liquid highlighters. So I'm excited about that. I can't wait to try it, to pick it up. There will be a review on this as soon as I get it. But like I said, if you're interested, pre-orders go up on Thursday the 4th. All right, so we have a new product release from K18. This is the Air Wash Dry Shampoo. So this is a non-aerosol dry shampoo mist that lasts up to three days using patented odor bind biotechnology to deliver a high performance clean without excess buildup, white cast, or heavy fragrances. But y'all, it's $48 and that's a lot of money for a dry shampoo. It really, really is. Like I feel like, I don't know about you, but I go through dry shampoo faster than I go through regular shampoo. I wash my hair once a week. Sometimes I can push that to 10 days if I really, really want to. And I live on dry shampoo. I dry, I thrive on dry shampoo. Like there is Dr. Pepper and dry shampoo running through my veins as we speak. And I cannot imagine spending $48 on a dry shampoo. And even as someone who has a cosmetology license and has access to professional products at a discounted price. I can't imagine paying the discounted price for it. So I don't know. I kind of want to pick this up just to see, but at the same time, I'm really, really happy with the dry shampoo that I use. If you're curious, I use the Moroccan oil dry shampoo that is for deeper tones. It's perfect. It doesn't add a lot of buildup. It does add a little bit. It's going to, it's a product that you're putting on your hair and it absorbs oil, but it has, it smells like Moroccan oil and, um, it doesn't leave a white cast. It's perfect for brunettes. So let me know what y'all think. If this is something that you're curious about and you want to know like my professional opinion, um, if you're new here, I have been doing hair for well over 10 years now. I think we're coming up on 14. So anyways, I'm more than happy to let you know, but if you're not interested, I'm not interested. It's going to be a pass. It is available now and it will be linked down below. Okay, so we have a new release from ABH, and this is their Beauty Balm Serum Boosted Skin Balm. This is a solid serum boosted skin tint with eight skincare ingredients, sheer to light coverage for a natural looking healthy glow, quick and easy application at home or on the go. It comes in 16 different shades. It is vegan and cruelty free. This is currently available on... Um, Ulta, their website, and Sephora. I will link it down below. It is $42. I did pick this up because I wanted to try it. I've really been loving my BB cream, CC cream, skin tints, things like that. And 
I've watched several of the videos that they have released and it just looks so beautiful and effortless on the skin. It blends out beautifully. So I'm curious. I want to try it. I did not like the ABH foundation that they have. It just, that one didn't work for me. But in all honesty, I had some points to kind of blow at Ulta. So it was free. <laughs> but I want to try it out. I'm curious about it. Now, I know the shade range is not the best, but you have to keep in mind that this is a skin tint beauty balm type product. So with something that has a more sheer coverage, one shade can cover a larger amount of skin tones. Although I will say this about the skin tone range is that there are an absolute ton of really light shades and then just like a sprinkling of darker shades. So I definitely think that we need to do better. It is 2024, like at this point, what are we doing? We need to be going from the whitest of whites to the blackest of blacks at this point. Like there's no excuse, but I don't know. Maybe that darker shade is going to work really well for really deep skin tones. I have no idea. I'm not an expert on the subject. I don't have a deep skin tone, but I'm curious about the product. I want to try it on, do a wear test, and see how it wears. Bare Minerals has released their Dewy Lip Gloss Balm. This is a gloss balm that nourishes lips with all day juicy shine, 24 hydration for lips that are visibly healthy, smoother, and softer. Um, it says it's going to, it's a hybrid lip gloss balm that nourishes with sheer even color and just one swipe. It comes in eight different shades. It's clinically proven to deliver eight hour continuous shine, 24 hours of continuous hydration, and the lips look softer, smoother, healthier in just one week. Now, I think these are pretty. I'm kind of curious about them, kind of interested. I do really enjoy just something that I can throw in my handbag and have to throw on my lips throughout the day when I'm out. I don't like to fuss with liner, lipstick, gloss, all of that when I'm just out in the world. I kind of reserve that for more of like if I'm going somewhere and it's like uh, not not a special occasion, but you know, if I'm just out running errands and stuff, I just want something I can quickly throw on my lips. So I do think that these are cute. I am interested in them. They are $25 a piece. They are currently just available on their website, but I'm sure they'll be coming to Ulta, maybe Sephora soon. So whenever they get there, I might pick one or two up, try out the formula, see how they work, see how I like them. But it's not anything that I'm going to like rush out and jump on to get. But I think it's a good release from the brand. Okay, so this one is interesting and I have I have thoughts, I have thoughts. So e.l.f. has collaborated with Liquid Death. So if you don't know what Liquid Death is, it is basically mountain water in a can. That's it. It looks like a beer can. People have been pulled over for cops thinking that they were drinking and driving, all that jazz. It's been popular on social media. I don't understand the hype. I don't think it's sparkling. I don't think it's flavored. If I'm wrong, enlighten me, educate me, let me know down in the comment section. But as far as I'm aware, it's water in a can. But they've collaborated with e.l.f. and apparently people are super excited about this because it is currently sold out. Now, I will link it down below because in the past when things like this have been super popular, e.l.f. has been known to bring them back because hello, they wanna make money. But um, I don't understand, I really don't understand. So this is a $34 five piece makeup set and it comes with a matte magic mist and set, O Face Satin Lipstick, which looks like it's in black, no budge cream eyeshadow which looks like it's in white h2o proof eyeliner pen and a putty applicator so again i don't understand people are going nuts for this and i just i don't know am i missing something let me know i don't get it even if it was available it would still be a pass for me because i don't i don't need any of this like i don't wear black lipstick i don't wear white makeup if I do it's like a white eyeshadow primer but um yeah I don't understand the hype with it the packaging is cute I'll give it that like it's aesthetically pleasing but I don't understand the correlation of the two items and I don't understand why people are losing their shit over it basically is what it comes down to but let me know your thoughts down below because I need to know what other people think 
sticking on the elf train though on the flip side of things we do have kind of an exciting release from elf and it's about time i'm surprised this hasn't come out earlier but they have come out with the power grip dewy setting spray and obviously it's a dupe of the milk makeup what is it dewy hydro mist setting spray whatever it's called you know which one i'm talking about it's like the sister product of the hydro grip and this will be $10. It is available now on their website. It's coming soon to Ulta. I did see it on there, but um, I'm not surprised at this at all. I think it's gonna be a good release from the brand. I've never tried the one from Milk Makeup. I do know several people who absolutely love that setting spray. So this might be one that I pick up eventually, check it out, see how it is. Maybe pick up a small one of the Milk Makeup version and kind of see you know, if they're the same, if they're different, you know, the whole thing. But um, yeah, this is available now and I think this is a good one from the brand. We have a couple of new releases coming out from REM Beauty. These do come out tomorrow and we have the Essential Drip Glossy Balm. This is a nourishing lip treatment that doubles as a high shine tinted gloss made with hyaluronic acid and pomegranate and passion fruit antioxidants to hydrate and restore lips. But then they also have the Energize Under Eye Balm. This is a botanical powered cooling balm clinically proven to hydrate and visibly brighten under eyes, leaves the skin looking smoother and more energized. Um, we don't have any prices um, it looks like the gloss is gonna come out in six different colors and then of course the under eye balm is just the one but this is going to be a pass for me as well um, not anything that I'm interested I'm not really into high shine generally high shine anything especially when they're clear to me that just screams sticky it screams sticky, it screams like it's going to just kind of melt off of my lips. It's not anything I'm interested in. I do have a few products from REM and I have enjoyed what I have, but I don't enjoy it to a point where I want to run out and try everything that the brand comes out with. But if you are interested in them, they will be linked down below. I know that you can sign up for early access on their website, so the link will take you to that and these do come out tomorrow. Laneige has added two flavors in their Lip Glowy Balm. We have Vanilla and Sweet Candy. These are available now on Sephora. They will be linked down below, and these are $19 a piece. This is going to be a pass for me. I do have one of the um, Laneige Lip Glowy Balms. I think I have the flavor Grapefruit, and I do really enjoy it, but for me, it's just, it's a little too much on my lips throughout the day. I prefer the um, the Summer Fridays ones. I think I have one right here in front of me, actually. Yes, I prefer these over the Laneige, but I do really, really love the Laneige um, Overnight Lip Mask. That one is amazing. But um, yeah, so now you can get vanilla, you can get sweet candy, but these are cute. They're just not for me. Okay, so this is cute. This is from Air Cosmetics. I've never heard of them before. They are a C beauty brand. And this is the Butterfly Collection Gradient Face Palette. Um, this is currently on sale for $99. And that's, that's a lot of money for a blush palette that's got two, four, six, eight blushes in it. While the blushes are absolutely beautiful, I don't need this. I'm, I'm drawn to it, don't get me wrong. The packaging's beautiful, the pans are beautiful, the shades are beautiful. Um, I'm kind of, that first one in the top left, it's like blue. That's not a blush to me. I don't know, these shades in here are kind of weird. Like, it's beautiful, but then when you start to kind of like dive in and dissect it, it's like, mm, I don't know about that. It's a little weird, but it's cute. I think it's pricey. The packaging is beautiful. Like I said, the pans are beautiful. This just isn't something that I'm interested in. Something that I am interested in and will definitely be picking up during the Sephora sale if these items are still available. A lot of this comes out before and if it's available, it's available. If it's not, it's not. But Fenty Beauty is finally coming out with their Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighter. So this is a skin tone based highlighter with a silky soft feel infused with super fine pearls designed to give a low key glow for every tone. The range of natural looking shades lay down a seamless glimmer 
shimmer to deliver radiance just right. The super fine pearls are delicate, handle with care. I'm excited about this because we have like our high shine highlighter from Fenty and then we have our diamond balm which is like just that beautiful like wet ethereal just sparkle on the cheeks and then we have our lit from within glow so I think these are beautiful I think this is going to be a great release from the brand I'm excited about it um, these do retail for $40 a piece which is a little steep for a highlighter. I understand, I realize that, but um, you know, it just, everything's going up in price. Like everything is going up in price. It's absolutely ridiculous. But um, I am excited about this. Like I said, if it's still available when the Sephora sale starts, I will definitely be picking one of these up. Rude Cosmetics has come out with neon liquid eyeliners. So we have six different shades. We have a, a pink, a coral, yellow, green, blue, and purple. These, it says that these are perfect for festival season, that they are waterproof. Um, once they dry down, they don't crease, they're vivid, they flatter every single skin tone. These are available now and they're $5 a piece. Now, I've never tried anything from Rude Cosmetics. They just don't have anything that appeals to me. I'm not in the market for a neon eyeliner. Like that's just, that's not my jam. It's not my thing. It's not what I go for. But you know, if you're looking for one, even if it's just for fun to kind of play around, these are $5 a piece, they could be really good. So, I mean, yeah, I think it's a cute release, they're just not for me. Okay, I'm excited about this one. So Bella Beauty Bar is coming back out with their Secret Garden palette. So this is a palette that they did a long time ago and they are re-releasing it with their new updated formula, they're updating the packaging this is really exciting like i cannot wait for this i think it's going to be absolutely beautiful this is coming sometime in april so sometime this month this palette will be out and i'm excited i don't have this palette um i didn't really get into the brand until later on but I don't really care what's in it. I don't care what the color story is. I will definitely be picking it up. I love Bella Beauty Bar's formula. I love their shimmers. I really enjoy the brand and it looks like it's going to be one of their bigger palettes, like maybe along the lines of um, Pastel Garden or Smoky Glam Best Mattes. It looks like it's going to be one of those just based off of the picture and the video, but I'm excited about this one and I can't wait to get it. Let's talk Armani Beauty because we have a couple of releases that have just come out or are coming out. So first, let's talk about the Luminous Silk Sunlit Creamy Bronzers. So these are available now. These are $58 a piece. They will be linked down below and it comes out in four different shades. Now, I think this is beautiful. I am very, very curious about this. It says it's an ultra creamy bronzing powder that creates an instant Mediterranean glow that will make you look like you're just back from the Italian coast all year long. Its smooth powder technology is designed with skin gliding oils for an incomparable silky feel, blends seamlessly onto the skin to deliver ultra thin and even coverage in four shimmery shades. Now, one, I'm a sucker for a bronzer. I don't know what it is about it. I just, I love a bronzer. I really couldn't explain it because honestly, it's one of those things that once you have one that works for you, you're good. But the packaging is beautiful. The pan is beautiful. The shades look beautiful. The lightest one that I'm looking at, it looks like it's like, it's a warm tone, but it doesn't look like it's too orangey. So I'm excited about this. Um, if it comes to Sephora, I will definitely pick it up eventually. I know Sephora is kind of a little bit late getting some of the things from Armani, YSL, things like that. They usually go to their website and they'll go to like Nordstrom and then eventually they'll come to Sephora. So it's not anything that I'm going to run out and get, but in the future, if it does come to Sephora, you can bet your bottom dollar I will definitely be picking one of these up and trying it. And then also coming soon from the brand, we don't have a whole lot of information, but these are the Luminous Silk Cheek Tents. So we have 
more blushes from the brand. It says it melts into the skin with its watercolor technology inspired by Armani lipsticks. It easily dazzles with intense color and with a light texture. Achieve a natural fresh flush that blends in with your skin, ultra thin formula and glides onto the skin without disturbing your makeup, allowing you to build up from a subtle glow to a more intense glow. Say no more. Like you had me at blush. Truly, you had me at blush, and then when you said it was a liquid blush, you really pulled me in, but I'm excited about this. I'm I'm a blush fiend. I really am. I have way too much blush. Do I need another one? No. Do I want another one? Absolutely. But um, I think this is a good release from the brand. I really do. I'm excited about it. I would love to pick up one or two, depending on the price point, when they come out. They're not out yet. We don't know when they're coming out. I'm assuming soon they'll probably come out in Europe first if they're not already out in Europe. And then they'll come to the States. They'll probably go to their website, the Nordstrom, and then Sephora. But um, these are exciting and I'm ready to try one. All right, so we have a new release from the brand Fashion Fair Cosmetics. They have come out with the cream concealer. Now, hmm, we need to talk about this. First of all, it's a buildable cushiony hydrating formula. Sounds nice, right? It comes in 10 shades. Again, back to the whole shade range thing. Why do we only have 10 shades? Like, there is no way. I feel like you can get away with less shades when you're doing like a brightener or a color corrector but if you're doing a concealer you need to have multiple skin tones you need to have multiple undertones you need to be ranging from very very light to very very dark once again and yeah i'm i'm not interested in this like if i thought the abh shade range was a little on the sketchy side this one is just this is atrocious and i'm not here for it it is available now if you're interested in it it's 28 dollars at sephora but it's definitely going to be a pass for me so we have a new brand that has hit the scene this is called ortega and um it's from somebody named Etienne Ortega. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I have no idea who this person is. I've never heard of them before in my life. <clears throat> but um, it looks like she is a celebrity makeup artist. I'm looking at her Instagram page really quick. Oh, <clears throat> so sorry, y'all. Allergies are allergies are out they're here but anyways um like i was saying it looks like she is a celebrity makeup artist I i've never heard of her before but she has come out with her own line so this line includes the blue nectar lip oil for conditioning these are going to be 21 dollars a piece the soft contour lip liner for defining at 16 dollars a piece the agave glow color stick for vibrant color at 22 dollars a piece it comes in eight different shades the liner comes in 10 different shades I didn't say that and then the liquid icon hyper gloss for amplified shine at $18 and then we have the strip tease makeup removing wipes for $12 now I'm I'm going to pass on this um, I'm gonna kind of sit back and let some others kind of take the reins check it out um, I'm gonna kind of keep my eyes on reviews and if it gets really good reviews and people are really loving it I might go in and order a couple things I do love lip products I really really do um, I think it's beautiful I, I like the aesthetic I like kind of the baby blue and um, yeah congratulations to her for having her own makeup brand I think it's great we have a new lip balm from pharmacy so this is the lip smoothie vitamin c plus peptide lip balm it's a nourishing daily lip balm powered by peptides and vitamin c that's clinically proven to visibly plump smooth and reduce lip lines while lo locking in moisture quickly and over time with a clear glossy finish this does come in two different shades flavors but we have mango and we have pear kiwi um these are cute i really like the way they look i do enjoy the brand but i think these are going to be a pass for me for now maybe down the line if i'm getting low on some of the lip balms or lip treatments that i already have and i'm looking for a new one i can pick one up and try it but for now it's a pass um these are available they will be linked down below and they're 22 dollars a piece 
Okay, so jumping onto the reformulation train, we have NARS. They have reformulated their iconic blushes and they are reformulated to be talc free. So it says this is featuring 20 fresh and best selling shades. The new blush lasts for up to 16 hours with a comfortable weightless feel. Pure pigment blend and innovative combination of four types of pigment achieves high impact true color payoff. So again, 16 hour wear, true color payoff, comfortable, weightless, silky, blendable, blurs and perfections, vegan formula. These are available now, they're $34 a piece. Now, um, I did get on Sephora and I looked and they did release two shades in their mini blushes and I think they're $16 a piece. I will probably pick those up and they're the two colors that I would have picked up anyways. So those shades are Orgasm and Orgasm Edge. So we have a shimmery blush and a matte blush. So I will, if they're still available during the sale, be picking up both of these. I love a mini like blush because I don't go through them very fast, but I want to try out the formula. I want to check it out. It has been a while since I've used a NARS blush, but I do remember loving the formula. I remember what it looked like on my cheeks. So uh, yeah, I want to check these out, see if they're any good, see if their new formula is just as good or better than the old, or did they make a mistake as well? Edge Beauty is coming out with their Desert Dystopia quads. So it looks like they're coming out with three different quads and these are just quads from their original palette. They're kind of sizing down, putting into little compacts in case you weren't interested in the entire palette. Um, these are $18 a piece and these are available now on their website. I will link them down below, but these are also going to be a pass for me. Um, the palette didn't really grab at me so the quads don't either i kind of find the quads to be a little interesting i don't know for a quad i don't think those are the colors that i would personally put in a quad because usually if you're buying a quad you're buying like a cohesive look and to me these are a little scattered maybe not the one with the the green black blue and brown but the other two they're just a little scattered for me, but if you're interested, they'll be linked down below and they're available now. So we have a new skincare release from Ola Henriksen. This is the Banana Bright Instant Glow Moisturizer. It says it's an illuminating daily moisturizer powered by gold complex vitamin C and banana pigments that instantly brightens, delivers 24 hour hydration and improves and extends the makeup wear. Um, it says it's lightweight, it's going to brighten, firm, reduce fine lines and wrinkles, prep skin for smoother makeup application while giving skin an effortlessly warm golden glow. This is available now at Ulta Beauty. It is $52 and this is going to be a pass for me. Um, I don't need anything brightening. I like the claims of, you know, plumping the skin, hydrating the skin, helping with wrinkles. I don't need anything that's brightening and I don't need anything that's going to add a warm glow to my skin. I am very fair skin tone and I do have a cool undertone. So this is just not for me. I do think this is going to be great if that's something that you're looking for. But again, like I said, it's just, it's not a product for me. We have another new bronzer that is hitting the scene, and this one comes to us from the Sephora collection. This is the Matte Bronzer Powder. It's a bronzing powder that has a hybrid, creamy, silky texture that melts into the skin for a natural sun-kissed result. And um, I'm excited about this one. It's only $16. They are available now. The Sephora sale is coming up, so you can get 30% off of this. Like I said, that goes for all of the tiers, so it doesn't matter if you sign up day of. You can get 30% off of Sephora products. But um, I'm excited about it. One, like I said before, I love a bronzer. I like the color range of these. I do feel like they could have gone a little bit deeper. I don't know about the undertone of that deeper one, but the lightest one on the far left is kind of calling my name. And you had me at hybrid creamy silky texture that melts into the skin. Like that's what I want in a bronzer. I want something that's going to feel like velvet, something that's just going to blend and mesh with my skin perfectly. So if this is still available during the Sephora sale, I will definitely be picking it up. 
We have a new collection from Color Rose. Again, it's another brand that I've never heard of, but it is a C Beauty brand. And this is the Water Ripple series. You have two different eyeshadow palettes that retail for $30 a piece, two different ombre blushes that retail for $23 a piece, and two different highlighters that retail for $22 a piece. Now, this collection is stunning. It is absolutely beautiful. That packaging alone, I bought it. <laughs> I bought all of it. I bought both palettes, both blushes, both highlighters. And let me tell you why. Right now, if you go on to the website where these are being sold, it is linked down below. They're having a sale, like the products are already on sale and then the more you buy, the higher discount you get. So I bought it all because one, like I said, the packaging is beautiful. I wanna try it out. I'm interested in it. I am super, super interested. I'm not expecting these to be like punchy, super pigmented eyeshadows or blushes or like blinding highlights, but I think that they're beautiful and I'm, I'm going to be honest, the packaging alone is why I bought these. I want to have these. I want to look at them. I want to open up my drawer and be like, oh, look at how beautiful she is. Like, yeah, I want to know, but I am curious about the formula. I do want to know what the pigmentation's like, the blendability is like. Do they build up? How do they hold up on the lids? Things like that, as well as the blushes and the highlighters. So, um, yeah, as soon as I get these, I will be doing a video with them. But th this collection is absolutely stunning. I think it's beautiful, and I cannot wait to try it. We have a new limited edition collection from Flower Nose Beauty. So it is the violet limited edition of the Strawberry Rococo collection. Um, it's a fusion of the elegance from Strawberry Rococo and the romance from Violet, which takes you into a world of ethereal beauty. So for this, they have a five color eyeshadow palette, two glowy lip glosses, two embossed blushes, a hand mirror, a hair clip, and a storage box. This will be available on April 8th. So so I have linked their website down below. It's not on the website yet even to look at, but if you are curious about it, if you're interested in it, you want to pick it up, the website is linked down below. I've never tried anything from the brand. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Like the packaging is stunning and I really, really want to try something from this brand as well as um, Fluorasis. Those two brands, I one day they're coming i will i just haven't gotten there yet but i do think this is beautiful i don't think this is going to be the collection for me but it is very pretty and i do like the way that it looks and yeah it'll be linked down below and it's coming soon so bath and body works has finally come out with their bridgerton collection we did talk about this a couple weeks ago they had sneak peeked it you could go on and sign up for um, alerts and whatnot and it is finally here and yeah this is this is a big fat no for me one i'm not a fan of the bridgerton series in general i watched the first two seasons and i like the second one better but it just uh, it didn't make me interested and want to know more about what's coming up but i'm going to be honest when i first saw this one this screams like beauty and the beast to me and two it screams like claire's like this to me looks cheap it looks very it doesn't look okay if you've seen bridgerton you know that bridgerton is extremely rated r i mean it is it is not for children. So why are we making stuff that appeals to children? I don't understand that. I will never understand that. So I understand the candles and the hand soaps and the things like that, but when it comes to like the wall plugins, like who's putting this in their house? Who who's putting this in their house? I just in no way does this go in my house. To me, this is what you put in like a child's bathroom that has a Beauty and the Beast theme or a princess theme to it. But um, yeah, this is gonna be a pass for me. Um, they are coming out with their three wick candles, single wick candles, foaming hand soaps, which I love their foaming hand soaps. Those are my absolute favorite soaps. I have a ton of them and I do really enjoy their candles. Um, the hand sanitizers, the gel hand soap, body lotion, body cream, fragrance mist, candle holder, wallflower pugs, pocket back holders, body care tray with mirror, which that's kind of cute in like a kind of sort of tacky way. But um, yeah, 
like I said, this is going to be a pass for me. Also, I'm looking at the fragrance names and the fragrance names are like Bridgerton Study, Diamond of the Season, Wisteria Garden, Danbury Shortbread, and what's the last one? Queen Charlotte's Tea. Like, what does that smell like? Anyways, I've gone off on a little bit of a tangent here and um, I digress. We're going to move on. This is available. It's going to be a pass for me. Y'all, Wicked Widow Beauty has announced that they are collabing with The Crow, as in like the 1994 movie starring Brandon Lee, The Crow, and this is a officially licensed collection. So this is not a inspired by, this is official, and I'm so excited for this. It is the 30, 30th anniversary of this movie, which one that blows my mind because I remember when it came out and... My mom wouldn't let me see it, but I have older brothers and I got to watch it and I absolutely love it. I fell in love with Brandon Lee and his character. And then when I got a little bit older and realized that he died making that movie, it crushed me and it should crush you because it's awful. It's horrible, but I'm excited for this. I love that movie. It's one of my absolute favorite like horror movies. I guess it's a horror movie, spooky movie. I don't know what you would put it in. It's not a feel good movie. It's not a comedy, but I love it. I'm excited. I cannot wait to see what the color story is. I can't wait to see what they do with this collection. I think they're going to kill it. I absolutely love the Wicked Widow Beauty um, formula. This is going to be a good one. I will definitely be picking it up and reviewing it whenever it comes out. All right, so we have a couple of new releases from Makeup by Yolanda. First up, we have the Garden of Lilies Blush Palette. This is an eight pan palette. It retails for $32, and I do think this is beautiful. It's not anything that I'm interested in. I don't need a blush palette, um, especially with some of these colors in it. I wouldn't get a lot of use out of them. If it was something that I would use every single color, I might be more interested to pick it up, but um, a lot of the shades on the bottom row look like they would be way too dark for me, and then the purple purple and the yellow. I love a purple blush, but that's too purple, and I have a yellow blush that I don't really use. So the palette's going to be a pass for me, but she's also coming out with her Set and Bake Loose Setting Powder. Um, this is also going to be a pass for me as well. It says it locks in makeup for long lasting wear without adding weight or texture. These are $25 a piece. They're going to absorb oil and reduce shine all day, creating a flawless matte finish with no flashbacks in photos. So I think this is a great release. I like the claims of it. I don't need a matte powder. I do not have oily skin. I have more normal dry leaning skin. We'll see what it does this summer if it kind of kicks up the oil a little bit like it used to. But um, again, this isn't anything that I need. I've never tried anything from the brand, but let me know what you think of the brand, what you think of this release. Is there something from the brand that you really love and you recommend? I'm always looking for new things to try. So let me know what you think down in the comments. All right, we're right at the end. We only have a few products left. Let's go ahead and start with Morphe because they have come out with some new nine shade eyeshadow palettes. This is the Rich and Foiled collection. So we have Rose to Fame, Going Platinum, and Gold Seeker. Um, it says that these are going to be inspired with the unstoppable allure of precious metals. These excessive and expressive nine pan curations elevate eye artistry with luxe mattes shimmers and metallics plus a crown jewel a debut foil effect molten metal eyeshadow apply it dry for overall creamy incredibly luminous payoff or wet for enhanced molten like shine these are $14 a piece they are available at Ulta and I am on the fence. Like a part of me really wants to try these. I have not tried anything from Morphe in years. Like they just kind of like went off my radar. And then after all the drama, the beginning of last year with closing down their brick and mortar stores, not telling employees, filing for bankruptcy, it just kind of left like an even worse taste in my mouth. And you know, there was all the stuff with them not paying their collaborators, all that stuff. But it looks like they're trying to make a comeback and I don't know. I have, like I said, 
thought about picking these up several times. I've almost purchased them a couple of times, but let me know what you think um, because I'm curious about the middle shade. Honestly, that's really what it is. Let me know what you think. Are you curious about these? Are you interested in these? Honestly, I don't think that you need all three. One would probably do the trick and I would probably pick up the, um, the rose gold, the rose to fame one, honestly. So let me know what you think. If you want to see a review on these, I can pick up one or all three. Um, let me know what you think because right now I'm just kind of, I'm on the fence. Like I'm curious, but am I curious enough? Because I do think that this is something new for the brand, something not really innovative because it's not innovative, but it does show that the brand is definitely capable of doing more than what they usually do. Okay, so CoverGirl has come out with their Clean Eye Color Eyeshadow Sticks. This is a creamy formula for high impact color that lasts all day. It comes in 12 different shades with flattering shimmer neutrals for versatile and buildable eye looks. These are $11.99 a piece and they are currently available over at Ulta. Um, I'm kind of curious. I want to know if the formula is any good. I'm looking at the swatches and they look beautiful. I'm not a huge stick eyeshadow person, but I do appreciate them. I do like them. I do enjoy them on days where I just kind of want to throw something on and go. I do think that they look beautiful on the eye for that, but I'm not a person who sits down and builds an entire look out of eyeshadow sticks. But um, yeah, I could definitely pick up one or two of these, try them out, see what the formula is like. I'm really enjoying drugstore lately. So um, yeah, these are cute. I think it's a good release from the brand. It's definitely on trend, but let me know what you think. And lastly, we have a new release from Lancome. So this is the Le Absolu Rouge Into Matte Buildable Soft Matte Lipstick. It's a soft matte lipstick with a lightweight buildable formula featuring ceramides for long lasting lip hydration and comfort for up to 12 hours. Um, it's another matte, soft matte lipstick. I feel like these are very on trend. A lot of brands are coming out with them. I know Merit has come out with them recently. We've had um, Hourglass come out with them recently. A lot of the luxury brands, higher end brands are coming out with them. And now Lancome has as well. I do really enjoy the brand. I will say that I have had several of their items over the years. I do like their lipsticks. Um, this is something that I could definitely try out. Lancome does a lot of sales throughout the year, like a lot, a lot of sales, and their sales are always better than what Sephora does. So maybe the next time they have a sale and I need to pick up some things, because I do use a lot of their skincare, maybe I might grab one or two of these in my bag, check it out, see what it's like, but I do like the colors. I love the component. Lancome always has such beautiful components for their makeup and it just looks so luxury, but these are beautiful. I think it's a good release from the brand. It's kind of keeping them relevant and in the game. And yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what the formula is like. All right, y'all. So that is going to be it for this week. We talked about quite a bit. We do have some exciting things coming out. We have some kind of WTF things coming out, but um, I'm excited. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. Is there anything that I said that I was going to pass on that you're interested in? If you'd like to see a review on it, I'm more than happy to pick it up, test it out, let you know all of my thoughts and what I think about it. And if it's something that you should you know, consider spending your hard money on, or maybe it's something you should pass on and save your coin. Let me know everything that you're thinking, what you want, what you're going to skip on down in that um, comment section down below. Let's light it up and have that conversation. And as always, I want to thank you for watching my video and spending your time with me. It means so, so much to me. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so that you can be notified notified of all my future posts here on my channel. I do post quite a few videos every single week, most days if not every single day, and I wouldn't want you to miss one. But until my next video, have a good one. Bye.